That is a key piece of language right there. If you don't speak legal language, let me speak that for you right there. McMahon said, throughout this experience, I have always denied any intentional wrongdoing and continue to do so. What, what that means is that what she's alleging in the lawsuit is true, factually. Okay, so he is, that's, ba I'm telling you, that's what he's saying. He's saying that what she said is factually true. But what he also says is he denies any intentional wrongdoing. So what that means is, as an example, she says that she met McMahon and this other guy in a hotel room and they took turns restraining her while they took turns on the other side. He's saying, yeah, that's factually true. But if he's denying wrongdoing, what he's saying is she was into that kind of thing and here is the evidence to prove it. He's saying like, what she's saying happened, happened. But she was into it. She was an active driver of these activities. Just when you think you've seen it all when it comes to uh, the old uh, corporate scandal between boss and girl, somebody steps it up and they're like, nope, here's a new one. Because if you read this headline, it says that Vince McMahon, who I know you guys are all very familiar with, uh, you guys know he's like the, you know, the, the boss of WWE for the last hundred years had a girl uh, that was working for him that he supposedly assaulted with, um, you know, the toys named after WWE fighters. And then the big bombshell, uh, supposedly it says defecated on head during, you know, uh, not just him and her. I gotta, you have to be careful for the first like minute of the video. So I'm gonna be very, cause this is like the easiest demonetized and, and deranked video ever. But you guys can read that, right? You know what that word means? Uh, him and another dude with her at the same time. And he decided that rather than go to the bathroom, uh, he just do it on her head. Uh, so that is what this suit alleges. And I have looked at a bunch of this. I'm going to go through the, the story itself. And then I'm going to show you text messages that, that got released, obviously by the, the, the plaintiff side that are, I, I'm going to tell you right now, you have a hard time convincing me that I'm wrong about what's going on here. And, uh, We'll get into it. I don't want to step on the video. I'm going to tell you what I think as we go. But uh, serious accusations against Vince McMahon and, um, and and Brock Lesnar is actually named in this thing also. Apparently, uh, it's kind of unclear whether he slept with this girl or whether he was supposed she was supposed to like make videos for him. We're going to read it together. There's some parts I haven't read, so maybe we'll learn about it together. But it's a, it's a pretty nuts story. All right, so let's read this. And then we're going to actually go through... Um, some of this stuff. So these right here, these are actual like text messages from Vince McMahon to the girl. You know, very curious though, uh, what you don't see in these is you don't see many of her responses. And I can tell you right now, unequivocally, unequivocally, if you're talking to a girl like this, or if Vince is talking to a girl like this, uh, you get that full, you get that full text thread. There's going to be a lot of responses from her. And if I was a betting man, I would say they're going to be damning. Uh, in terms of her saying that she was not a willing participant in this entire thing. They always just throw tra oh, trafficking, you know, trafficking. Now, if you don't want to get trafficked, the best thing you could do to protect yourself and your family is to subscribe to this channel. Because that is how we protect ourselves from predators who want to traffic us. I'm just kidding. But seriously, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell and then like this video. All right, let's get into the news. A former WWE employee claimed Vince McMahon abused her, including with sex toys that he named after wrestling stars in a shocking new lawsuit. Janelle Grant, bro oh, by the way, you guys want to see what she looks like? I'm sure you do. That's what she looks like. That is Janelle Grant. So when you're visualizing, so when you sick little freaks are visualizing this whole thing, uh, assuming you don't believe that this is trafficking, by the way. Let me just qualify that. I'm all, while you visualize her getting trafficked, I'm just kidding. I don't believe that she was trafficked, for the record. I think she is a sexual deviant that was living out fantasies with Vince McMahon and multiple people. And then she realized, uh, you know, maybe she got mad at him or maybe whatever, but she's like, oh, I've got him by the balls. And they did a multi-million dollar settlement, which he did not pay the full thing of. And then she came back and now we're doing this. That is what I believe. Um, but listen, I could be wrong, but based on the evidence and uh, me knowing human beings, that would be my guess. But nonetheless, uh, I just want it. So when I say like, when you're visualizing this, you sick little bastards, I meant like, if you're going to think about this being obviously consensual, you could visualize it. If not, you are crazy. And uh, that's what it is. All right. Janelle Grant broke her silence about their relationship with disturbing allegations, including charges that the wrestling magnate defecated 
on her head during a threesome in May 2020 and sex trafficked her to other WWE executives, according to the complaint filed in the Connecticut Federal Court on Thursday. Grant alleged in the complaint that McMahon sent her a text message May 2020 that read, I'm the only one who owns you and controls who I want to F you. I'm sure he did send that. Uh, I'm positive that he sent that if she says. Uh, her lawsuit comes after the Wall Street Junior, uh, Journal reported last year that WWE has, was investing an alleged $3 million payment from McMahon to a departing female employee following a consensual affair. Hmm. Sounds about right. Uh, Grant, who was unnamed at the time, claims she received an initial installment of $1 million, but no further payments afterwards in the new lawsuit. According to the lawsuit, McMahon's use of sex toys on Grant caused her injuries such as bruising and bleeding. The ju- Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Uh, yikes. Ugh. I can't even make jokes about that, dude. I can't make jokes about a girl getting bruised, even if she was asking for it. Anyway, uh, McMahon is also alleged to have shared nude photos and explicit videos of Grant without her consent with other WWE employees, according to the lawsuit. I'm sure that's true. Uh, you know, without like her express, you know, uh, whatever. What? What are you saying? Without her express, uh, permission. He once locked her inside his private locker room at WWE headquarters in Stanford, Connecticut, and forced himself on her over a massage table, the complaint said. Hmm. So I just want to throw this out there. So he locked her inside his private locker room at WWE and forced himself on her over a massage table. Is it possible that they just had sex over a, you know, a massage table? That seems kind of likely. I'm just saying, uh, WWE boss is also alleged to have directed Grant to have sex with other executives and a wrestling star, the lawsuit claims. Now, does this sound familiar, you guys? Sound a little bit familiar to P. Diddy? What have we learned, you guys? What have we learned, you guys? If some girl seems like she's totally down to get passed around, maybe not a good idea, dude. Really. Like, really, maybe not a good idea because they can just turn around and be like, nope, I didn't want to do this. You made me do it. And uh, then you end up in this situation. Uh, John Laurinaitis, WWE's former head of talent relations, who is named as a defendant in the lawsuit, was also allegedly recruited by McMahon to have sex with Grant. Okay, so if you guys, uh, uh, what's the right way to put this? If you think that it is rare for a powerful man to have a girl who is a deviant and wants to get passed around and he passes her around and that turns him on. If you think that's like a super rare thing, you are tripping, dude. It's not a rare thing, not a rare thing at all. Now, in the case of Diddy, he's a predator. He was drugging people, you know? I don't know enough about this, actually. I feel like I'm get, not giving her the benefit of the doubt, but that's because I've read the text messages and they seem relatively clear what was going on here. Okay, Grant was told by McMahon to visit Laurinaitis in his hotel room where she had sex with him before work days. <laughs> had sex with him before work days. It's alleged in the lawsuit. Just before every work day? This is, this is, she was an unwilling participant. She would go to his hotel room and this is, she's an unwilling participant. That sounds kind of weird. In one encounter at WWE offices in June, 2021, McMahon and Laurinaitis forced themselves, forced themselves on her and took turns restraining her for the other. It was alleged in the lawsuit. Really? Forced themselves on and restrain, or she's into this kind of thing. And so they would hold her hands while the other one went after it because she's into that kind of thing. Okay. Also, if you think that that is a rare fantasy of girls, you are tripping, dude. You are tripping. If you think girls rarely like the idea of being restrained while, you know, you're out of your goddamn mind. That one I can tell you unequivocally. Now, generally, it's me doing, well, not generally. In my case, it's always been me doing the restraining while also being the active participant. But I can't think of many girls that don't, well, there's a couple girls that aren't super into that, but most of them are, you know? Like most of the girls I had experience with. Certainly my wife. Um, Then they said, uh, no means yes, take it. Uh, We're among the things McMahon and were saying during the assault. Okay, so again, this would be directly in line with if she was into this. Uh, In July, 2021, McMahon told Grant, to create sexualized content on her phone and send it to Brock Lesnar, a former UFC star whom the WWE was trying to sign at the time. Okay. Last July, uh, federal law enforcement agents executed a search warrant and served a federal grand jury subpoena on McMahon. Uh, WWE said in the filing that the SEC uh, said with the SEC that while government investigations into McMahon were going on, no charges have been brought. Okay. So 
again, I just want to just say the following. Um, I am not a person who buys into the, uh, this was assault if it's happened 500 times. Okay. Like, I'm sorry. Obviously I have three daughters. I have a wife that I care about deeply. I love all of them more than you could understand. And I'm telling you straight up that regardless of the fact that I'm a girl dad, you're not going to convince me that someone who participated in a thing hundreds of times, then later was like, it's assault. I'm like, okay, no, you, you girl chose to get in your car from home, drive to the office. You girl chose to go to hotel room with these guys hundreds of times. That, that's, that is not what assault is, okay? Just because you can make it sound really, really bad, even though you were an active participant in this thing, that doesn't mean it's actually assault. If you were an active participant, you were into it, then don't, don't tell me this is assault, dude. Um, and like I said, I have read the text messages, which we'll get into. I don't know how much of those I could read, to be honest, but I'll, I'll summarize them. The company said it received voluntary and compulsory legal demands for documents, including federal law enforcement, blah, 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 blah. Um, this is probably why you left the company, honestly. And McMahon said that throughout this experience, he has always denied any intentional wrongdoing and continue to do so. Intentional. So basically what that means, that is a key piece of language right there. If you don't speak legal language, let me speak that for you right there. McMahon said throughout this experience, I have always denied any intentional wrongdoing and continue to do so. What, what that means is that what she's alleging in the lawsuit is true, factually. Okay, so he is, that's, ba I'm telling you, that's what he's saying. He's saying that what she said is factually true because one of those things that you cannot um, prove in terms of fact patterns is like whether this was consensual or not exactly. That's really tough to prove. But like if she says, he grabbed my wrists and restrained me while the other guy did blah, blah, blah. He's like, that's factually true. But what he is denying is the fact that she was not an active participant in that and was not actively driving that type of activity. You know what I mean? That's what that means. So he says that he's confident that the government's investigation will be resolved without any findings of wrongdoing. Last year, Endeavor's talent agency run by Ari Mack computed a $21.4 billion merger with WWE. Uh, yada, yada. Oh, okay, here. McMahon is also alleged to have shared nude and explicit photos of Grant without her consent. To other, I'm sure that he did. Uh, I am sure that he did. All right. So now I wanted to switch over to here and I wanted to read you some of these messages if I can. I'm actually, uh, I'm not going to show them because I think the language on these is going to be so gnarly that, uh, oh my God. Yeah, I was right. All right. So I'm going to read these as, as, uh, as clear. Like these are screenshots from the lawsuit. Okay. So this is from McMahon to her. Okay. So he says, it's, this one starts with, I love it. Okay, so we don't know what he's responding to, but he says, I love it, which means he is directly responding to something she wrote. He says, that's you. He says, I love it. That's you, Janelle. You just can't get enough, can you? In the future, it's going to be so bad that you'll demand to be effed twice a day and not just with uh, blanked out in a three-way. So whoever their normal guy who they would do it with. Why not let others see that the beautiful voluptuous body and watch you shake uncontrollably when you finish? Uh They'll go out of their minds. Then I'll find more friends and we'll tie you up and you're helpless. I'll direct them to have their way any way they want. Who can make you scream the loudest? This is a girl who's into this. There is just no question, dude. There is no question. He is saying this as if he is delivering her exactly what she wants. This isn't like him, you know, I don't know. Like there's, there's ways to talk about this where it would sound like that's what you're gonna do because blah, blah, blah. He is saying this like he is, he's excited to give her exactly what she wants, right? Uh, I'll direct them uh, to have their way with you anyway. Who can make you scream the loudest? Maybe I'll just line them up and have them uh, uh, fill up your mouth. <laughs> then fill up the other thing. And uh, then put it all over your body and every other part of your body. And you'll be covered and we'll make you eat all of it and taste everybody. The next morning, you'll be a little sore, but you're still going to want more after all that over and over. Okay, so... So like that, okay, that is one of the messages. Bottom line, bottom line, if you know what you're looking at, that is crystal 
crystal clear that he is he is under the impression that she likes that. Like that's him being, he's giving her what turns her on in that message. He might be right, might be wrong, but for sure she has made him believe that that's what she's into. Okay, then, um, then here we go. This is another one. Oh, okay, here we go. This is actually from the suit. I'm, I'm reading uh, language from the actual suit. It says, after the, uh, the three, I just don't want to say these words and get them on. Okay, after the three of them instead of two of them began, McMahon began, became more sadistic and his fantasies focused on control such as choking, uh, sensory deprivation, pain, humiliation, and group scenarios uh, where she would be physically overwhelmed and subservient. Okay, well, so that might all be true also, but that doesn't mean that that's not something she was partaking in. Okay, so he says, regarding your last picture. (laughs) Okay, so this one is in response to a photograph. Okay, Uh, you need your uh, panties with three uh, (laughs) BBCs and all of you at the same time. I see, like, I can't read this out loud. Way up there, way up there, way up there. And the thickest one, you know, you, you, know, uh, you gag, convulse. You, gotta, you get the idea, Jesus. I can't read all of this, dude. Okay, it's dirty talk, man. It's dirty talk. Then this one, uh, here's another part from the lawsuit. It says, around this time, McMahon openly shared explicit photographs and salacious stories about Miss Grant with WWE crew at TV tapings. A group McMahon also referred to her as the fan club. Indeed, McMahon exuberantly messaged her a truthless story of having just shared explicit content of her with a group of 12 men. Dude, she's into this. There's no, why would he do this otherwise? This is the message he said. I just passed my phone around to a bunch of guys on the tech crew. They were screaming, oh my God, she's beautiful. Look at that. I'd like to get that. I paused, count out loud how many guys were there, 12. This is her, she's into this, okay? I then said, okay, there's 12 of you and she would love to have all of you at one t- at once, but she will only do it if she takes three at a time. <laughs> oh my God, dude. <laughs> She wants one in there, one in here. Oh my God, this is insane. This is all just, this is dirty talk, dude. This girl, this is a girl who fantasized about getting gang gang, you know, getting gang ganged. That is all this is. And apparently, uh, okay. So this one, uh, here's another part from the lawsuit. It says, uh, McMahon sent Miss Grant to establish a schedule for when other men, including, um, physical therapist and learners could, could get with her, which Miss Grant attempted to rebuff. Uh, so McMahon says, baby, he's not the only one. Uh, this one called me this afternoon begging and he wants to, he wants to F you with a nice hard D. She says, give me another week, baby. I'll be ready. I'm feeling more like myself. It's not great, but it's getting better. Tell the him soon. Okay. So this is again, this is their like big reveal of like, oh my God, see, she rebuffed this one. (laughs) It's like, all she said is I don't feel like myself, which means when she does feel like herself, this would be normal, you know? I probably shouldn't talk anymore about this, but bottom line, uh, this was a girl who very clearly was, uh, you know, she was into this dude. I, I would be, I would be absolutely flabbergasted if I'm wrong about that. Flabbergasted. You think he doesn't know? You think Vince McMahon doesn't know that if he pushes on a girl too hard, that this kind of thing could blow up in your face? She had clearly made it very clear to him that she was into this and then for whatever reason she changed her mind he was supposed to pay her three million dollars he paid one and now this is all coming out uh i'm just gonna leave it at that so i love you guys subscribe to the channel ring the bell that's what i got Bye bye